morning guys yeah we have uh, we have some snow today and and very cold uh, actually this is the most uh, risky time to drive in the year because um, most people drive uh, a little bit on the faster side uh, in the summer and then when uh, winter comes uh, and you have these freezing temperatures um, you know you, you just don't expect them you don't expect the roads to be slippery and then they get hit with this so you know just uh, be careful be careful um, I've seen it <laughs> many 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 times um, uh, new Year's uh, deliveries uh, 3300 vehicles this is this is again you know these are uh, stable numbers okay I mean nothing to be super excited about you know but uh, but these are stable numbers okay and uh, and I know I say this and the stock price uh, does whatever I don't uh, I don't have control on the stock price it does whatever it wants to do but um, think about it this way um, Q3, Q3 deliveries, uh, roughly 55,000 vehicles, right? Q4 will be around the 45,000 vehicles. But, but think about it this way. Um, uh, Neo plans to have uh, or, or working on having 10% uh, profit in Q3 and 15% profit in Q4. And they're doing this by, you know, by uh, eliminating the free battery swap, by uh, employee count, by reducing employees, of course, by uh, by uh, probably doing some uh, lean uh, work that uh, that we don't know. Uh, you know, in in companies, there are a lot of lean initiatives there that um, you know you just don't uh, see it. So when they say we want to do 15%, that is because of, uh, of uh, you know, projects that they know and we don't know. We don't necessarily know. But anyways, think about it this way. If uh, NEO delivers 55000 in Q3 and the average price of per vehicle is $45,000, right? I'm just using numbers as, uh, you know, they might be slightly off. Um, then the revenue from from the vehicles uh, would be 2.5 billion okay i'm rounding the numbers up um the the 10 percent profit on uh, from that is uh, 250 million right and uh, and that's in q3 so so profit from vehicles 250 million for q4 uh, if they sell 45000 vehicles and and the average price is still 45000 dollars per vehicle then the revenue will be two point uh, something let's say two billion right roughly two billion so in q3 you have 250 million profit but in q4 you would have 15 percent which would give you 300 million dollar profit so so there you go you even though you um uh, new uh, sold less vehicles in q4 they made more profits Okay, that's that's what you have to think about, right? Um, you know, the other thing is that the um, the battery swap um, effect uh, would not be seen in Q3. The battery swap uh, stopped in a free battery swap stopped in uh, was eliminated in um, in um, July. So the last order in July, yeah, yeah, you you have to put the numbers down on the t the last um, uh, day in July, right? When someone orders at that time, you will not get your vehicle next week. You will have to wait because there was a backlog of orders. So you have to wait until probably like September, you know, because at that time the waiting time was uh, a lot longer. So you would have to wait, let's say September, mid-September, first week in September, something like that. So you, there you go, your Q3, uh, the the uh, the battery swap uh, charges from Q3 is actually um, negligible or nothing because you, you're not benefiting from it. But you would benefit from all the sales in Q4 because from you can assume roughly from mid-September onward, uh, all the vehicles sold will have some benefit or some some uh, profit from the battery swap okay so this is why 
there's a change in the in the in the, um, in the model to become more efficient and that's the start i think that's the starting point in mid september um you know the also the 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 employee count uh, reduction uh, i mean new is 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 doing a more uh, leaner uh, model uh, that makes sense right but again at this at at, at some point you cannot um, have uh, too uh, few vehicles because because it, it would of course it would affect um, other things so you don't want to have too much because you still want market share there's more factors in there so I think NEO is doing a balance between uh, you know having mar margins and and having market share and this is what I think is happening okay you know again this is not financial advice these are just my thoughts okay Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.